here with Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com and today I'm going to share with you some of my top colorful saltwater fish. Now if you are new to the hobby, if you've ever met anybody that's just getting into the hobby, you've probably heard them say, I'm going to go with saltwater as opposed to freshwater because saltwater fish are more colorful. Now that's not always true, there are some colorful freshwater fish, but in the case of today's fish that I've got to share with you, they definitely are more colorful. Now, when I first think of colorful fish, wrasses as a group are the first fish that come to mind. There's a ton of gorgeous colorful wrasses. You can get them in a bunch of different colors and different patterns, but one of the first ones that pops in my head is going to be the six-lined wrasse. It's a fairly small wrasse. It does good in a lot of different tanks, and if you look closely at a lot of the details, you're gonna see a ton of color. And it's pretty affordable, too. However, the femininus wrasse or the tamarind wrasse, not so affordable as the six line wrasse, but it is another wrasse that is gorgeous and has those vibrant colors and those patterns that transition into one another. Next is going to be the solar wrasse or the solarensis wrasse. Now, I really just love this one. It's got blocks of bright, beautiful colors. And something interesting about it is that in the fall of 2021, it was actually reclassified. And its new scientific name is Sihilabrius aquamarinus. And the reason for that is when it was under a different light, the males have this beautiful aquamarine color on them. So those changes might not have been made across the board when you look at your um, local retailers and your online sellers but look for that change coming up. Now the last group of wrasses that I want to talk to you about is the leopard wrasses. Now they're pretty cool fish, however they don't have the bright bold colors of some of these other wrasses. When it comes to the leopard wrasse, you want to make sure that you look at their detailed intricate patterns and that's where you're going to see all of that color. Moving on to angelfish. You know, I used to work at a local fish store and people would always come in and go crazy over the flame angels. It's a bright, vibrant red fish that is gonna stand out in almost any aquarium. They're gonna be very, very easy to spot. However, my favorite angelfish is got to be the coral beauty. I just love the rainbow of colors that you're gonna see in these fish. Now a little bit larger of an angelfish is going to be the regal angelfish. Something cool about these guys is that depending on where in the world they come from, their colors and their patterns might be just slightly different than each other. So if you're thinking about getting a regal angel, make sure that where it's coming from is the color and pattern that you want for your tank. Moving on to basslets. Royal Gramas, I feel like that's a fish that we all see at the local fish stores. They're just a bright pop of color, kind of like those flame angels. They're easy to spot in just about any tank and they're good in most sizes of tanks. Plus they're easy to find and they're definitely affordable. Now the candy basslet, on the other hand, not as easy to find, um, a little bit more of an advanced fish for you Aquarius out there, but they are bright and colorful. And I just, I love their patterns. They kind of remind me of eating cotton candy in the summertime. Next is going to be our jawfish. I couldn't make this video without including a jawfish and the blue spot jawfish, uh, it, the name says it all. They have those bright blue spots and the yellow patterns on their head. And if the colors don't do it for you, their personalities definitely will. These guys aren't necessarily a beginner fish, so make sure you do your research if you are considering getting a blue spot jawfish. All right, to round out my list today are going to be gobies. Um, the Bella Gobi, I feel like they were pretty popular a couple years back in local fish stores, and I haven't seen that much of them, but I really fell in love with them. I like their bright pinks, and on their face they have that um, intricate pattern and detail, and I just think they really stick out. However, I know a lot of people that got them had issues with them dumping lots of sand and substrate on corals, so use caution if you've got a coral tank and are considering one of these Bella Gobies. The last goby on my list is the mandarin goby. I'm sure that's one that everybody has seen or they've had their eye on at some point. Kind of like those leopard wrasses that I mentioned earlier, all of the color is gonna be in the small details on that fish. It's not a big fish, it's not gonna get as big as you know some of your wrasses or the angelfish, but if you look at it, oh, it's, it's just splendid. So if you're looking for some colorful fish to add to your tank, consider one of these, but before you buy any, make sure that you do your research first and are well prepared for the fish that you're gonna buy. I'm curious to know, did I include your fish on this list of colorful saltwater fish? Leave a comment, let me know. If not, maybe I'll have to do part two of colorful saltwater fish. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com.
I'll see you next time. <laughs>